Yes? Tell me about Tabitha. Tabitha was a troubled soul. I'd rather not talk about her. I needed to press him on the subject of Tabitha. What happened to her? I'm afraid she died a few months ago. Killed herself, if you must know. I found her, swinging from a tree in the gardens. Here's the key to her room, if you must pry. Don't bother me about Tabby again. Thank you. You've been very helpful. Tabitha's room stunk of decay and rot. The room was bare except for a fetid mattress and an array of papers littering the floor. What had become of this woman? They are written in a language I don't recognize, save for a few Latin passages. Diabolus ortus ex cenaris cado consors. Devils rise from the ashes of fallen friends. Various ranting scribblings on the wall, mostly written in a language I can't understand. The name Rachel is frequently mentioned. It's Tabitha's. Should make interesting reading. The diary seems to be locked with a combination. As I dialed in the last letter, the latch unlocked with a satisfying click. It's too long to read it all, even though several of the pages have been torn out. I'll just scan it for the mentions of the mausoleum. July 9th. How many of my siblings must I lay to rest? How many times must I say the words and open the crypt? But a fascio altum abyssus is burnt into my mind. An ever-present reminder of my fate. July 13th. My darling daughter's condition continues to deteriorate. I am so close to finding the solution. I will beat this. Father's books hold the key. July 25th. There is so much power here. I can feel it between my fingertips as I read the words written in this book. It feels as though I can bend and shape the world itself as I see fit. Eliminating the frailties and weaknesses of the human condition just as one would pluck an apple from a tree. July 27th. I no longer fear corporeal death, as the shackles to one's own flesh are torn apart. Life suddenly is set ablaze before you. Our bodies, our humanity itself, are anchors to a pitiful existence of ants amongst gods. Rachel and I will live for eternity. The last few pages have been torn out.
arrived at the mausoleum to find the door already open. Help me! Can anyone hear me? It was Sarah. Hmm, it's already open. Thank God! Who did this? I don't know. The last thing I remember was cleaning the floor in the kitchen. And then it just goes blank. Oh no. Behind you. I wheeled to face the figure that had entered the crypt, trapping us against the back wall. Its face was gaunt and a putrescent green in colour. It tipped its head ever so slightly to the side, regarding me with ill intent as saliva trickled from the corner of its mouth. The creature's eyes were piercing and a deep crimson, as if its vision were tinted blood red. You shouldn't interfere. The goddess wants the girl. I drew my gun and aimed. Don't come any closer or I'll shoot. The creature seemed to sway back and forth heavily as it struggled to breathe. I don't fear you. My mortal demise is an inevitability. There are worse things than death. Who is the goddess? She is everything. My alpha and my omega. She began, but will not end. She is, but will never not be. What has she done to you? She has set me free. She has shown me the wonders of living after the flesh has decayed. I feel no pain, no anguish, no suffering. The passage of time holds no weight for me. I merely am, and always will be. Why does the goddess want Sarah? You think I question the will of she who is? You think I still have the petulance of man? She set me free from such things. I no longer want or am wanted. I do not need and I am not needed. I just am. I can't let you do this. Your desires to stop me are of no consequence. God forgive me. Are you all right? Yes, I think so. What was that thing? I don't know, but it's over now. I awoke to the feeling of rope tightening around my neck. The groundskeeper seemed beguiled by the gentle motion of my body swinging back and forth. We must disconnect them from the earth, and then we can be whole again. His mutterings filled my mind like water slowly advancing from my feet to my head. We must bind them and break them, and then we can be whole again. He watched the life drain from me with something that could almost be considered a smile. We must bleed them and drain them, and then we can be whole again. And so I was left to expire slowly by asphyxiation, and I resigned myself to the events of the day. I was going to die. There is no redemption for the wicked and the faint of heart. My judgment would be swift. Michael. What about Victoria? And that McCarthy guy? The girl is becoming something of a nuisance, I'll admit. But you need not concern yourself with McCarthy anymore. My God. What have you done? Dealt with a situation that you could not. 
you've, you've gone too far. He was a good man. There are no good men. They are toys for our amusement. And remember to whom you are speaking, Michael. Do you want to slowly waste away to nothing, like a cheap rag doll in the dirt? Do you want to be remembered as a slave to your own weaknesses? I'm... I'm sorry, Tony. All is forgiven, Michael. All is forgiven to those who serve me.